with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Yes, ma'am? Can't we get started? We've been here almost half an hour. Well, I'm running on the schedule, ma'am, and this is a 20-minute stopover. And according to my watch, we still have two minutes left. Oh, please hurry. Yes, ma'am. It's been like that the whole trip. Can't figure out why she's in such an all-fired hurry. You sure got a plenty scared, God. I know. Scared ain't enough. <laughs> ah! Take it easy, Brady. There's no hurry now. We'll give the stage time to get an open country. she says. Maybe someday they'll invent a fine machine. She won't have to put up with this slowpoke kind of travel. Driver, please! Yes, ma'am.
light and we'll go back and see how the driver is. Thanks to you two. Lucky you came along. We were on our way back in Greenville. I guess we left just a while before you did. What were you carrying, Pete, that those road agents were after? Beats me. I'm carrying nothing more valuable than a chuck bag full of vittles. What about your passenger? I reckon you better ask her, Miss Annie. She's been acting awful skittish about something. Of course, I never was one who could figure out females, except in them with four legs and a whinny. <laughs> <laughs> Miss? Yes? The driver seemed to think you were frightened of something. I thought you might know the reason those men attacked the stage. No, no, I don't. Why should I? This is my first time in the territory. Carrying jewels, maybe? Or a lot of money? No, I'm afraid I'm not. Are you riding through to Diablo? I'm going as far as the stage takes me. That's Diablo, miss. It's the end of the line. Yes, I guess it is. Pete, do you know who she is? The passenger list gives her name as Roberts. But she could be the Queen of England for all I can see under all that veiling. Driver, can't we get started again? Lofty, you'd better drive the stage on into Diablo. Pete can ride inside. Gosh, Mr. Conrad, I can do it. Honest, I can. I'm sorry, Tag, but the answer is still no. But you said I was a good cub reporter. Yes, I did, but you have to serve a long apprenticeship before you become a real newspaper man. Gosh, I wish I could do just one story. You'll get one someday. Don't try and hurry it so. Come on, let's go see what the stage is bringing in today. Take it easy, Tom. I just... Lofty, what happened? Well, it's sort of a mystery, Tom. A couple of masked men shut up the stage. Gee, what were they after? That's the mystery. Pete, you going over to the doctor and get that arm taken care of. Lofty and I'll see to your passenger. Thank, Annie. Well, look what we have here. Watch your step, miss. May I help you with your bag? The hotel's right across the street, miss. No, I can manage, thank you. I'm Tom Conrad, miss, editor of the Diablo Courier. Uh, strangers, especially pretty ones, are always news in Diablo. I wonder if you'd answer a few questions for me. What sort of questions? Oh, what you're doing in town? That don't take much figuring. Hey, watch how you talk to a lady, mister. I normally do, deputy. But if that one's a lady, I'll eat my boots. I have to tell you where's the nuts. you finished your lunch, mister, you may apologize to the lady. <laughs> hey, where'd she go? That's strange. I wonder why she walked off like that. Huh? Not the fanciest, I'm afraid, but uh, it's clean. Oh, it'll be fine, thank you. Oh, one more thing. Uh, yes? It's very important. Yes? I don't want to be disturbed by anyone. Why, certainly, Mrs. Roberts.
ain't so worried, Karn, but riding on into Diablo, I don't know if that's so smart. What can they do? The charge against me was dropped, remember? Well, what if the girl sees us? So she sees us. Diablo's the end of the stage line. She ain't gonna get away. Oh, hello, Tom. What'd you find out, Tom? Oh, not a thing. She's a mystery woman, all right. Hadn't been out of her room once. Had all her meals sent in. Oh, won't the hotel clerk tell you anything? Wendy doesn't know any more than I do. But he's got definite orders not to let anybody in. Orders from Mrs. Roberts. Sure too bad she's married. Well, whether she's Mrs. Roberts or not, that girl is sure frightened about something. Maybe the law's after her. No, that's not it, Tag. I've already checked the wanted reports. I think she needs help. How can we help her if we don't know what she's running from? Well, do you think a good newspaper man would be able to find out all about her? That's right, Annie. But I'm afraid I'd have to be small enough to get through a keyhole to find out anything about the mystery woman. <laughs> Where are you heading, Tag? Oh, just around. No place special. Well, stay out of trouble. Sure, sure I will. about you, and, well, I thought... You mean your newspaper friend, Mr. Conrad, thought? Oh, no, ma'am. He didn't send me. Well, I'll see to it that he doesn't send you again. Go on ahead of me. Not you, Tyke? Yes, Mr. Conrad. I brought a lady with me. Or she brought me. Well, this is a surprise. I thought I made it clear to you that I didn't want to be interviewed. That's right, you did. Well, apparently you didn't tell your assistant here. Having a nose for news is fine, but I don't think it belongs in a keyhole. Peg. I'm sorry, Mr. Conrad. I was just trying to get a scoop. Well, that's no way to get a story. Please don't try again. I want to be left alone completely. Well, Diablo's a friendly town, ma'am. If you're in trouble, there's folks here would help you. The few I saw when the stage came in would like to help me out of town. Well, you'll find that sword anywhere. Not that they're important. Not at all. Ma'am, I'd like to see you again. And I promise not to ask you any questions. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Conrad, but I'm afraid that would be impossible. I... What's the matter? Please, don't move. Just hold me. I'm sorry, Mr. Conrad. Please forgive me. It's a pleasure. Well, ma'am, you're trembling something awful. Was it those two men? No, no, it was nothing, really. I... Please, I don't want to cause you any trouble. But... Gosh, Mr. Conrad, she's sure scared about something, just like Annie said. Your sister's not usually wrong. But what are we going to do, Mr. Conrad? Well, you're going to get in there and sort the mail. 
And don't forget to go through the out-of-town newspapers. You can learn a lot about big city setup methods that way. Oh, all right. Yes, sir. Scoop all, please, and eh? Guess about everyone in the country has heard about me, huh? Guess I've covered some of the biggest stories in the West. Well, I even remember the time I... Jumping cactus! It's her! It's the mystery woman! I gotta tell Annie! Oh, excuse me! Maybe if I had a talk with Mrs. Roberts, I'd be able to find... Would you please quit reminding me that she's married? Annie! Annie, look at this! Where'd you get this tag? It came in the mail with the out-of-town papers. I almost did notice Hey, it. listen to this. Lil Benton, Kansas City Dance Hall Queen, and the state's key witness in the murder trial of Con Morley, disappeared from the city today. And state's prosecutors were compelled to release Morley for lack of evidence. Miss Benton, who earlier had indicated she was an eyewitness to the murder of Frank Patterson, Kansas City saloon owner, left no trace as to her whereabouts. Miss Benton? Then she isn't married. Without Miss Benton's testimony, state prosecutors admitted they had no case against Morley. It is believed that death threats against the girl were responsible for her sudden disappearance. Annie, that morning, he was one of the men that rode into town. Well, that sure explains the mystery about the mystery woman. And the stage attack. They were after her. Well, we don't have any proof, Lofty. They were wearing masks. Why did she run? It was the worst thing she could do. Well, I guess Morley threw a real scare into her. We better have a talk with her, Annie. We're gonna have to talk fast. What do you mean? Well, talk is the one thing that Morley doesn't want her to do. Well, their horses are still in front of the saloon. Oh, good. You and Tag stay here, and if they come out, keep an eye on them. Okay. All right, Annie. Wendy, what room is Mrs. Roberts in? We've got to talk to her right away. I knew there was something wrong. That's why she checked out in such a hurry. Checked out? Not more than 15 minutes ago, asked me where she could get a horse. I told her the livery stable, and if I'd have known, I certainly wouldn't. Their horses are still at the saloon, Annie. Did you see her? She's run away. Run? Well, where could she go? Well, she wouldn't go back to Kansas City. She's probably headed further west. Let's go after her. Catch her, Mr. Conrad. So do I, Tag. So do I. It's a pretty rough country. She's probably so frightened she doesn't know which way she's heading. I didn't know it was you chasing me. I thought... You thought it was Con Marley and his henchmen, and it could have been. You were very foolish to ride out of town alone like that, Lil. Then you know. You saw the Kansas City paper, the whole story. Well, not the whole story, I'm afraid. Now, what Morley threatened to do if I testified against him. He said even if he did go to jail, he'd have friends who'd get me. You gotta stop running, miss. Morley can't get you if he's in prison, and that's where he will be if you go back and testify. I'm all alone. What can I do against him? We'd like to help, if you'll let us. You got other friends, too. There's a newspaper editor back in town that's mighty concerned over you. I'd never make it back alone. Morley would get me. I know he would. Not if he's in a Diablo jail, he wouldn't. But he's been released. There's no charge against him. Take a warrant from Kansas City to jail him for that murder charge again, Annie. Mm -hmm. But if he commits a crime in this territory, or an armed attack against Miss Benton, he... Suppose you were to ride into town and let Morley and his friend know that the mystery woman had ridden out of town alone. Wouldn't take much supposing. They'd be out here, and fast. 
It's just what I thought. There's only one way to make sure. Are you willing to try it, Lil? Yes, yes, I am. That's Lil, all right. Looks like that loudmouth cowboy back in town knew what he was talking about. Thought Lil had more brains than a full of stunt like this. Brady, let this be a lesson to you. What do you mean? Never give a woman no credit for having brains. Huh? Got her now. Work like a charm, Annie. Where's Miss Benton? Back in a nice, safe spot where these two couldn't get at her. Never give a woman no credit for having brains, huh? We sure got took in by this one. You know, for a man, it's supposed to be smart, Morley. You sure don't know the first thing about women, especially Annie Oakley. All right, get to your horses. Come on, come on. Thanks, Annie. Thanks to all of you for everything. We were glad to be able to help, Lil. You don't know what it means to have real friends. After the trial's over, you're coming back to Diablo, aren't you? I sure am, Dick. Just as fast as I can. You know, I just figured out what my first big story's gonna be. Oh, what's that, Dick? Their wedding. I think that'll make front page stuff. Might even give it three columns. Tag, I'll give you a byline on that story of yours. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye